Hello YouTube chess lovers and my friends this is Gunjan here welcome to the 11th part of the dirty chess tricks the modern Scandinavian defense start with the move order e4 d5 and after e captures d5 instead of routinely capturing the d pawn black will play the move knight to f6 so idea is to capture with the knight now it is very well known at the highest level that if white wants to maintain his advantage then he has to play the move d4 if white plays any other moves then not only black will equalize very easily but black can employ some of the nasty gambits which white needs to be aware of it for example if white plays the move c4 then there is an amazing Icelandic gambit which start with the move e6 and after d captures e6 and bishop captures e6 black is quite aggressively placed if white plays the move knight to c3 then he has to watch out for a gambit starting with the move c6 and if white plays the move knight to f3 then white needs to deal with surprising Portuguese gambit which start with the move bishop to g4 so all in all it is only black who is having all the fun after the move d4 the simple reason which give white an advantage is that when black recapture the pawn with the knight then white can play the move c4 not only grabbing the center and the space but that means black has to move his knight third time in the game now here many books and videos have recommended the move knight to b6 and in fact that is one of the main line but instead of this in this lecture I am going to propose a very interesting move that is knight to b4 if your opponent has seen this move first time then his eyes will literally lit up and he will think like hang on isn't that a blunder can't I win a piece after the move queen to a4 check and if the knight retrieve back then I can always play the move d5 and have a piece well that's true but the most important point is that is exactly black wants now before we look at queen to a4 there is one point I like to mention is the best move over here for the white is the move a3 and after the move a3 yes white definitely have slight edge in the game but with the careful play black can slowly equalize everything I am Bill Pascal has done some wonderful analysis on this move which you can find on the chesslecture.com apart from a3 if white plays other moves then he needs to be very very careful in a one quick game where my opponent was more than 2000 plus rated he robotically played the move knight to c3 but to his horror he find out that after one move bishop to f5 and white is lost <laughs> so isn't that wonderful okay let's see what exactly black is up to after the move queen to a4 check well here black will certainly play the move knight 8 on c6 so supporting his brother and now white is obviously going to play the move d5 no wonder here your opponent is going to count how much rating he's getting after this game but to his shock we are going to play the amazing stunner that is the move b5 bam why can pack his bag and go home b5 is that much lethal let's see here white has four options and let's see each by turn the first move I want to consider is c captures b5 well after this black is going to play the move bishop to f5 which has a merit of creating a fork on the c2 if white becomes greedy at this point and take the c6 knight with either of the pawns for example d capture c6 then the simply game is over after the black's next move that is bishop to c2 bam <laughs> so not only hitting the queen but queen cannot move because there is a checkmate threat on d1 which white needs to deal with it first the another move try is knight to a3 but after this black can simply capture the d5 pawn gambiting the whole piece 
let's see what happens if white accept this speech sacrifice so b captures c6 here black will continue with this queen check and now king has to move white cannot casually play the move bishop to e2 or bishop to e3 because let's say if he plays the move bishop to e3 then after knight to c2 it is not only forking king and a rook but white queen is a goner so that's not possible so king d1 is forced after the move king to d1 black is going to continue with the move rook to d8 check and after the only reply that is bishop to d2 it looks like black initiative is running out of the fuel but I give you a few seconds can you find an amazing move over here okay I hope you find this move that is rook captures d2 BAM why doesn't have any good option except he has to take this rook but after this the very simple queen check and white is lost please note that king cannot go to the c1 or the e1 square because of the knight check and in the next step capturing the white queen so that means white has to forcefully go to the e2 square but after this we are going to play the move queen captures b2 check and white king will not survive longer for example in one of my game my opponent responded with the move king to e3 here black can easily capture the rook in the corner but instead of that I played a stronger move that is e5 so now idea is to play the move bishop to c5 check my opponent was desperate to save his rook so he played the move rook to d1 but after bishop to c5 check and king to f3 queen to f2 is actually a checkmate so if white is not careful enough then game can be finished very very fast in some lines the second move white can try is the move queen captures b5 but after this black can simply give this check with the move knight to c2 forking king and a rook after the natural reply king to d1 black has the amazing stunner that is bishop to d7 BAM there are three good possibilities for the white all leads to disaster now the first move is if white foolishly capture the knight on the c2 then there comes knight to d4 and bye bye miss queen if white is desperate enough to block the d file with the move bishop to d2 then after knight to e5 attacking the queen and after queen to b3 black can simply capture the rook in the corner and become a piece of and the third and the most critical question need to be asked what will happen if white capture this knight with the pawn if d capture c6 then if black wants black can have the queen of the white for example the line goes like this bishop captures c6 with a discover check and after king captures c2 bishop captures queen and pawn captures bishop white give up queen for three pieces which might be okay for black but instead of all this there's a stronger line which will completely finish your opponent with start with the move bishop to g4 bam double check few moves are very much forced so here king has to capture this knight afterwards we give this check with the queen so again king is forced to move to the c3 square and now we are going to capture this bishop with a check now please note if king goes on the d file then rook can come to the d file and that will lead to the disaster for white and accordingly if king goes to the b3 then after bishop to d1 white king will be checkmated in few moves so the best move over here is king to b4 afterwards we are going to capture the b2 pawn with a check and after king to a5 we are going to capture the rook in the corner after the whole fire works not only black emerge with an exchange up but an attack to boot the next threat of the black is to capture the a2 pawn and finish the white off I reached this position in one of my game my opponent responded over here with the move a3 so stopping any queen checks I responded with the move a6 attacking the queen and the obvious response is queen to b7 counter attacking my rook 
well in fact my opponent never touched that rook i played the move queen to e5 check and after king to b4 i played the move e6 i think at this point my opponent was really fed up with his position so he played the disaster move that is king to a4 and he soon realized that something went wrong after the move bishop to d1 which forced the resignation immediately the third move i can try is the move queen to b3 but after this the simplest move on the world is knight to d4 attacking the queen and please note queen cannot capture the piece because of the knight to c2 when white will simply lose a queen so queen has to move to somewhere the best move suggested is queen to d1 but after this the simplest is knight to c2 check and after king moves to the only square that is d2 we are going to capture the rook in the corner so not only black emerge with a piece up but white king is clearly misplaced last but not least the most critical move is queen to d1 here black will continue with the move bishop to f5 so threatening once again a fork on the c2 square so accordingly white needs to defend that square the only good reply is knight to a3 afterwards we are going to play another aggressive move that is knight to e5 so not only saving a piece but now three pieces are eyeing at juicy d3 square which i don't think so white can defend the best response over here is knight to f3 but after knight check bishop captures and knight captures white king has to forcefully goes to the f1 square so it's already a concession where white king has been clearly misplaced after the move king to f1 i recommend that black should capture the c4 pawn if white immediately capture the c4 pawn then after queen to d5 not only black is attacking the knight but black position is quite good so instead of this white has to play a better move than that that is queen to a4 check here black will play the move queen to d7 and offer a queen trade which white has to accept if i decline this queen trade and capture the c4 pawn black can play the move rook to d8 and grabbing the d5 pawn but emerge with a better position so queen trade is almost forced and now white is going to regain his pawn with the move knight to c4 for a moment it looks like white is doing fine although his king is misplaced but queen has been exchanged so white doesn't have any problems but see yourself here black will continue with the move bishop to b5 attacking the knight if knight to a3 then bishop to a6 and the threat remain as it is so the first reply left is b3 afterwards we are going to castle on the queen side with attacking the d5 pawn which cannot be defended the best is king to e2 but after knight captures bishop and rook captures knight and rook captures d5 the dust is settled down and not only black emerge with a clear pawn up advantage but black has a bishop pair to boot and it is only black who is playing for the win in this sort of situation okay so with this we are concluding this wonderful chapter i hope you like this wonderful tricks exist in the modern scandinavian gambit feel free to like subscribe and comment on this video I'll meet you in another episode of Dirty Chess Tricks. Bye.